Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Scrap Timber. Today is the first day of Scrap Timber. I'm going to be playing along here and there throughout the month. I'm not going to have a video every single day this month. I've got some other uh, projects that I am preparing for, so my apologies for that in advance. But I am playing along uh, every week here and there. So today is the focus. Uh, the focus on Scrap Timber is stickers. So basically what Scraptember is, there's a prompt for each day. It's either a product or um, or it could be a technique or something like that. And today is stickers. So I have this really old Jen Hadfield sticker sheet. You're going to see me pull it out here. Um, and it's got a lot of stickers on it, you guys. A ton that I haven't used. It's got all kinds of little animals that have like flowers in their hair or they're carrying flowers or something like that. There's a sloth and a raccoon and a fox and um, a hedgehog and you know all of the cutesy cutesy little things and it's been in my stash for a very long time. I'm not even sure how old it is but I really don't use those kind of stickers very often. So I have these two pictures or three pictures sorry three pictures of the two the two of the older um, kids that I take care of, the two sisters. And so I thought I would do a layout about the two of them. It's just going to be called Sisters. And if you know little girls, you know they love stickers and they love all these cute little characters. So I am going to pile them on. Yep. I'm going to use as many stickers off that sticker sheet as I can. I think when all is said and done, I end up with four or five stickers left um, on the sticker sheet the rest of them all get used and I'm really happy with that but it is a lot of stickers so uh, it's not I'm not gonna call it sticker sneeze because they're not all over the place I just have one huge cluster underneath my title and then I'm gonna have a cluster above that right hand um, well kind of where the right and right hand and middle photo meet I am using some paper this is from my little girl Echo Park the paper that uh, is the background is, I believe, a Jen Hadfield paper as well uh, that went with the collection that I am actually busting the stickers from. So I don't remember what collection it is. I think Hey Hello maybe. Uh, so anyway, um, that green paper matched the green in the stickers. So there's a little. Um, purse like thing and then there's these florals and they all have this green color in them so that's why I chose the green paper and I'm really happy with that choice I am going to fussy cut a bunch of flowers um, across the top of this floral paper it's from the same hey hello collection and I'm going to make a strip across the top of the uh, layout for it and I really like the way that it ends up looking. I'm just kind of trying to figure out the natural line of where the flowers start and end with regard to having some tucked under and some on top. Um, I, I want it to kind of have a natural look and not look like uh, where it happened to the other half of this flower because there's another flower that was over top of it, if that makes sense. I do fussy cut out these leaves as best as I can and those will um, be hanging down but I don't cut where the white meets the top uh, where the white is trapped between the leaves and the florals so I'm going to actually use a white background this red reddish red and pink paper is going to go at the bottom of the the um, photos so I really like the way that these flowers look across the top of this paper um, actually kind of glad I have a second half of this floral paper because I could totally do that again um, on another layout with some mixed media and I think it would be absolutely beautiful. This is the back side of that pink paper. I wanted the border strip that has all of the florals on it and I did trim my paper down by a quarter of an inch so that there's a white border on the three sides of it. I did not trim down the floral strip but I am going to trim down the flowers at the top. And then I'm going to tuck these photos in and I am going to start layering up my title, which again is just sisters. And then I will start layering up all those little critters and characters and the balloons and the bicycle 
um, there's donuts and purses and I don't even know what else you guys baskets of flowers but I do want some flowers behind these which I know seems weird but um, I felt like when the reddish pink color pa background paper poked through it looked like there was some trapped space so I'd rather have a variety of color back in there than the trapped space now the little character with um, Ha only half his body half her body and the flowers on the top of her head it's not going to make the cut um, I probably could have squeezed it in there somewhere but I I don't know I wasn't super thrilled with it so yeah um, and then I'm trying to kind of balance out that bottom area so that I have the green purse on one side the green cupcake on the other side and not have all of those brown pieces right next to each other I kind of want to mix them up a bit and I was just checking that to make sure that uh, I had a good amount of stickers and that I was going to be able to make it work and I had cut enough. I did fussy cut up out some extra flowers as you saw there that I can tuck under. And so um, I definitely wanted to make sure that everything was going to work before I start actually sticking things down. So now I'm at the point where I'm going to stick things down while I start doing that. I just wanted to remind you there's a bunch of people playing along with Scrap Timber. And this is a huge series that uh, historically Laura Alberts and the Scrappy Sisters have done together. I don't believe Laura is playing along this year. Maybe she'll be back next year. But the Scrappy Sisters, uh, Katie and Jess, are both um, playing along. And then we've got tons of other people playing along for more inspiration. So check out the playlist down below so you can go and see what everyone is doing for... Um, to use up stickers and then uh, there will be another prompt for tomorrow tomorrow as well which I think I'm not going to be doing tomorrow but I might be doing the following day um, I kind of just mapped it out in my calendar so I don't have more than like maybe two days off in a row uh, but it allows me some time to accomplish a few other things for a future series so um, I didn't show you all of the fussy cutting of all of the flowers I uh, do want to take note here that when I fussy cut here I'm not moving my scissors back and forth I'm just moving the paper back and forth and sometimes that might mean you have to cut the paper down like using cutting a 12 by 12 paper like that is very difficult so you kind of have to roughly cut the area that you want to fussy cut out of the 12 by 12 because otherwise it's just a lot of paper to manage and then um, when you get that kind of trimmed down to a a manageable amount of paper to swing around your scissors that's when you start doing that other uh, technique of moving the paper and not your sister scissors your scissors are just going open and closed for the most part so now I'm just kind of balancing out all of the characters again at the bottom of my layout which I feel like I've done this already once or twice <laughs> because uh, I have <laughs> but um, I feel like it's a, an important part of the process to make sure you've got enough stuff to cover the areas that you want and maybe pull out a few other areas that you might want. You might have noticed at the beginning uh, I did have a powder tool, a turquoise tool that had a TE on the top of it. Uh, the lid, it's from Tailored Expressions. It is their powder tool and I find it is fabulous. It's the best powder tool I have ever used, hands down. Um, and I cannot recommend it enough. I will try to find a link for that and put it down below for you in case you're interested in that Tailored Expressions powder tool. Uh, when I purchased mine, I believe you could only get it from directly from Tailored Expressions, and I'm not sure if that's still the case or not. But I'll put a link for it down below in case you're interested. Now, I did go through the sticker sheet that is for the same collection, and I find that most of these stickers are more card-related than scrapbooking related which is very disappointing when you buy it and you're a scrapbooker and you think you're going to be able to use a lot of those now I could use like the the pieces that you see on the front sheet but how many pairs of sunglasses does one person really need on a layout and how many um, ladybugs and how many bees do you need on a layout probably not as many as they supplied you but all of the sentiments are very like thank you happy birthday missing you all of that kind of stuff so I did find this turquoise one that's just the same color as the flowers that are turquoise and the title that is turquoise and it says miss your face and so I am going to actually use that but I'm going to cut the miss off and it's just going to say your face and the reason for that is you guys can't see it but underneath those little sticky notes their faces they are making 
uh, are hilarious. Their tongues are out, they're cross-eyed, and they're just making faces at me while I'm taking pictures and they're being goofy together, which is always a pleasure because I'd rather have them being goofy together than arguing. So um, it's a good place to be and a fun way uh, for them to get along together. And not that they don't get along uh, often, because they do get along often, but you know, uh, there's always those little tiffs with sisters and brothers and um, whatever, you know, and I'd rather just have them be happy and goofy together than uh, at each other's throats all the time, basically. So I am just using my ATG to hold those letters down. I will probably go back and tack some of the edges up with some liquid glue just because there is uh, quite a bit of area that I wasn't able to cover with my ATG just because the serif uh, font is really hard to get the little the drop down area of the T and and that kind of stuff so I will use my ATG to kind of make that a little bit more secure I will also be using my ATG not my ATG my liquid glue to make it more secure and I will use my liquid glue to make all of these characters a little bit more secure as well some of them will have a little bit of foam tape underneath them, like uh, the flowers that this little raccoon is holding. I do believe I put some foam tape under the flowers and maybe under the flowers that the hedgehog is holding. Yep, there goes the foam tape. And so I will use a little liquid glue to hold all of that down as well. But I wanna give a little lift to the layout and not have it just like a big flat sticker pile. And I think that really helps with everything uh, on the layout to give a little bit of dimension and pop to the different layers so it kind of clarifies things for your eye it doesn't look like you just I just have a pile of um, things that your eye can't uh, distinguish so that is my theory I'm hoping it works um, I, I do know the girls will love this and actually I might have to do a second layout that is not the same because I won't have the same sticker sheet, but a similar fashion or maybe using these photos because I only did one layout and there's two girls and they each have their own albums. So I may have to do that or maybe I will take another series of photos and do another sister's layout of them being goofy together in another um, setting or something because uh, I know they'll, they'll each want, they'll each want one, of course. Um, so that little blue bird is definitely going to make it up onto that sprig that is hanging down on the upper left hand area. And I think that's going to be really cute. I do have a couple of extra stickers that I'm not quite sure what to do with. And that is when I decide to bring them in above the photos and uh, to kind of bring some characters across to the upper right hand side. And I think that's going to look super cute as well. I did put a couple of pair of sunglasses in here, just two. One um, being the gold foiled ones, because I'm going to add some gold foiled hearts. And then uh, there's a leopard print set, which I thought was really fun. And I think that girls would like that as well. I'm popping some of these little flowers up onto some foam. I'm using the yellow foam is just foam from Walmart. It is adhesive on one side. And then I use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive on the other side. These little circles are about half the thickness of the fun foam from Walmart. So I am using that in a couple of areas as well. So it's uh, for areas that I don't want it to be quite as dimensional. And I'm liking how that is looking as well. I thought I'd go through this little stick, a uh, stick, sticker book one more time just to see if I could find anything else. I did find the word yay, uh, but I don't end up using it. I, It just didn't seem to have a natural place for it to fit so I quickly decide I'm not going to use that and again the little character on the left hand side doesn't make the the layout but the one on the right hand side does that one's going to go up above the photos and just kind of create a little cluster to the upper right um, spreading out my cupcakes and some there's going to be some donuts they're still on the sticker sheet I'm going to add those some little macarons um, because you know who doesn't love cookies maybe a potted plant or something uh, actually I don't think the plant makes it that's one of the leftover stickers that the plants and the coffee cups I just put those back in my stash I don't save the little back of the head um, of the girls because those are not the kind of stickers that I, I, I use I'm not really interested in them um, I, I don't know I just don't have a 
they just don't do anything for me. So <laughs> I will not use those. They're going to probably end up in the bin. And I do end up using all of the little hearts and the ladybugs. I scatter those throughout the layout. The little character with the flowers at the bottom is going to be handing the flowers to the character at the top right. And I think that's super cute just to bring that over there. And uh, it's, a, it's kind of fun. It, um, makes me think of, you know, maybe one sister's bringing the other sister a little gift or something. And then I did add the butterflies with a little bit of foam behind them. Um, I do cut the foam in half to fit behind those butterflies and in order to do that I usually snip it while it's still on the backer backer um, for the adhesive so that I don't get adhesive on my scissors. Just trying to figure out where these last little pieces are going. These are just some little sprigs and they are gold foiled so I thought I would bring those in since I've got those gold foiled sunglasses in there and then it just brings in a little bit of shimmer and shine to the layout and it's just you know there's a ton going on you guys um this is not a normal layout for me if you're not someone who watches my channel normally i don't normally pile stickers on like this i'm not i don't want to say i'm frugal because i do like lots of layers in my albums and in on my layouts but um they're not quite so piled on so this is a bit different for me um i do like the way that it looks specifically for little girls i think they're going to love it um would i put this in my own album probably not it's i would probably be a little more sparse and uh discerning with my choice of stickers but i think they'll love it and i hope that you do too if you did i wouldn't mind if you hit that thumbs up button for me if you're not subscribed to my channel i would love for you to consider subscribing as well and i will be back again with another video tomorrow so come back and see me then don't forget you can leave comments down below and i will get back to you as quickly as i can um, I do read all of them and appreciate every single one that is left for me there and um, I respond to every single one so um, leave me a comment if you're interested in that. I will see you guys again with another one soon. Bye-bye.